Hello, Internet. Let's play some more Dave the Diver. I don't know how long this game is, but I only played like an hour last time, so maybe we'll get a little more done this time. And if I remember right, our current mission is there's like a shark somewhere that we're supposed to be um, trying to kill so that we can serve its head to a fancy person. Tuesday. And I'm pretty sure we get button prompts for most of the controls, so I shouldn't worry about that too much. Steadily making the right upgrades. Because, like, catching the same fish over and over again makes it so that we get an easier time making our sushi menu. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Enhanced harpoon tip. Yeah, sure. Pretty sure we can't eat jellyfish. We're not sea turtles. I forget. Tab? Tab is how we switch to a gun. Cardinal fish. They don't look big enough to make sushi out of, but maybe they just look small compared to Dave. Oh wait, this food? Soy sauce. Good old sea soy sauce. Made by the fish. Hey, Electron. Shock bang stick. So I guess that replaced my, s my knife? What is this? Scrap iron. We're gonna leave that. Do you know anything about this game, Electron? Because I'm coming in here pretty blind. Nope, doesn't know anything about it. Alright. Well, what I'm thinking right now is I need to find... Silver Bowl. That's... Kind of nice seeming. I don't like having to mash my space button, but... Hey, it's the shark! Let's shoot it. Okay, underwater bullets don't go very far. That makes sense. All I know is it's a guy in a scuba suit. Wait, the shark, why are you running away? We're, we're in the middle of our Mortal Kombat right now. You tricked me! Hey, I think we killed the shark with a stun... Stun baton. And just in time to run out of air. Turn to the boat. We have caught your shark. And found a silver bowl. Oh. Oh. Hey, who is this guy? Hippity hop. You... Do you know a lot about this giant blue hole? 
Mm. Well, I'm not sure what to say to that. It's different every time in there. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's the best place to collect Marinka. <laughs> What's a Marinka? Marinka. I could complete my collection in this place. Ah ha ha. Mm. Marinka? <laughs> what? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards, Marinka. You watched a little bit of my playthrough on YouTube? Thanks. I should get into this Ocean Life trading card uh, business. Maybe I can get my own card. Hmm. How can you not have heard of the futuristic trading cards that utilize an AI recognition system that automatically corresponds to fish in real life? Um, never heard of them. It sounds fun, though. Uh, you seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. Hmm. So you do this, then press here, touch that, add a friend, here's my number. Hmm. Done. Um, okay, so what do I do now? Hmm. The amazing thing about Marine Cut is you don't really need to do anything special. Just catch a new fish and you'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. I see. I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. <laughs> That's right. It's almost like, uh, whoa. You don't want to be saying the name. I understand. I'll try it out. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info, so hit me up if you have any questions. See you then. Choo choo. Oh wow, this guy is gross. Can't afford gas, so he has a little pedal boat. Catching fish will allow you to automatically acquire marine cards. You'll get fancier cards for catching higher grade fish. Um, I guess we're going back in. We already killed a shark. So now we got to try to find sea people, and they're going to be deep. So down we go. Just straight down. Hey, Ruben. How is school? He looks like fast, fat Ash Ketchum. I think that's the joke. What with his name being Sato, and Ash's Japanese name being Satoshi. What is this? Oh, nothing's fancy, I guess. It's a gun. Gun enhancement kit. We'll take it. Ruben definitely didn't forget his school phone at school again. Yeah, he's, he's definitely Ash Ketchum. Oh, whoops. What's this? Bro! Well, that's not a sea creature artifact, but whatever. We're almost down as deep as I can get. These look like tuna. I want the tuna. Come to me. Come to Nami. Not having any luck with that. We're just injuring fish. How about you? Can I catch you? Okay, we'll switch tactics here. Dusky Grouper. Glass, that's not an artifact. How about this? Pink seashell. Probably don't want to collect a lot of lead. It's kind of heavy. And now we're way down. Oops. We should be able to get back up, though. How was my week, and how is the programming? Oh, that's a gun. We don't use the gun on these fish. They might get blown up.
Well, I didn't really do anything this weekend, so that... Other than, you know, the stream. Kind of maybe a missed opportunity there. Oh, whatever. We need to get back up to the surface, or else we're gonna drown. Did I get a new crab guy in the bottom left? Uh, yeah, that was made by, um, Burrito Fun. That took a lot more effort than should have. Oh, hey, what's this? Ammo box. My guns have ammo. That makes sense. Oops. Forgot about that. Yeah, the new little crab guy. He's like a crab baby type thing that uh, Burrito Fun made. And he was... He intended it to be like an animated emote, but I was sort of like, it's kind of not that distinct enough, you know, like with an animated emote, you've got like 20 some pixels to work with. So you kind of got to get something that sticks out, has a very clear action and what it is. But it was cute. So now it's just hanging out over on the, uh, the side here. Ruben got... Are you asking me if I did any programming, like making computer programs? Because I don't really do that. I did volunteer on Twitter this morning to help um, Captain Krabs with his video game as a tester. Since, you know, I got free time. Okay, so we gotta get our menu set up. One thing we gotta have is the fish head. Fish head. Max is one. We can only have one. Then we will add our... We've only got two of these? Us oh, trigger fish. How about we enhance the lionfish to- oh wait, no, we have a ton of blue tang, so we'll throw those in. Enhancing animations. Good thing we're not open yet. Someone could get hurt. Oh, any uh, progress on the channel point reward thing. I'm pretty sure that's not going to involve as much programming as it's going to be just me Googling stuff. All right, blue tang is on the menu now. No, that's not, we don't want just one. There we go, all of them are on the menu now. You still have the animated pop, so they at least don't need to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's clear what that thing is, but it's not good. It was just sort of like, um, I saw it on GDQ and I thought I want to pop emoted, uh, animated emote. What channel points reward thing? Ruben had the idea that I could Make a channel points reward thing that's just, like, random stuff. Spend your points, maybe something good will happen, type of thing. And it could be mostly just random nonsense. Did I? There we go, max it out. Okay, now we have plenty of food for everyone. And we should be able to start... 
Yeah, pop like that, Electron. Except it was... Do I still have that assigned? I don't know if I still have it assigned. I don't think I do. I... Hang on. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, there's my, my popping emote. It's not great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess Ruben could just use his points to unlock it himself, but I've already demonstrated here. I am more of a fan of the Rainbow Crab. Partially because... I can use it in other people's chat, and it's not that weird. Anyway, let's open the sushi restaurant, and hopefully I didn't forget the controls. Bom, 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 bom. Ah, here she is. We've got your fish heads. Ugh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. You can't use points to unlock animated emotes? Aw. Okay, well, she seems to be having a good time now. How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white dip reef shark fat inside of the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is, is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Ahem, <clears throat> pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. It's sad that nobody except for me will ever use those animated emotes. Hey, Reshi Rammer's got a, uh... A sub, a sub to my channel this month. <laughs> the Book of Five Rings says that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. <laughs> Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head is a delicious taste. I'll take your word for that, Boncho. I always figured they would taste like ammonia, because they kind of have ammonia in their meat. <laughs> this whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. Electron might sub when he has his own money. Or don't, just get an ad blocker. I must admit it, this is good. You pass, Boncho. Let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Boncho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things may be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshie the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. The last person before who subbed hasn't been here for two months. Yeah, Sharky's busy. What if I want the emotes? I want to support you. That's nice too. I'm mostly just about not having to watch ads. Advertisements are to the devil. Wow, I've, I maybe it's just me, but when I don't have my ad blocker on and I watch things on YouTube, I'm getting a ton of like this weird AI created junk as advertisements. Like, here's a secret from the Eye of Horus that you can use pyramid power to unlock your um, diabetes or whatever. It's weird. Ruben watches ads. I should look into if I can, like, opt into those ads where it just sort of, like, scoots my screen up a little bit and puts a banner underneath. Instead of, uh... Oh, you were talking about in. I don't... Did it... Okay, in, yeah. In subbed with Prime a couple times. Sharky subbed pretty, um, regularly for a while. Anyway, we gotta hire employees. 
Let me tell you how to recruit staff. I clicked the button, it's right there, I've already seen it. Pay close attention to what I say. Yeah, staff button. Got it. Add staff. Press control, or just click it. Oh, I have to actually press control. Flyer ad. Recruit staff at current cooks to rating level max two applicants. Press the flyer. Okay, there we go. Flyer ad in progress. Last Ruben heard from Sharky was a year ago. It was more recently than that. It was probably more like June. Still a screenshot of me with that star thingy from the time she subbed me. So the recruitment results will become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Okay, I need to give this lady some tea. Perfect, because I am perfect at this. I can definitely pour tea. The trick is pouring slightly more than I think I need to. Electron's excited for the level head stream. I gotta actually practice some before I do it. How does this thing work? You won't be able to produce food if you run over wasabi. Grind or fill the wasabi before it runs out. Why is this lady ordering shark? Do we have enough shark head to make more? Huh. Hey, we're bronze influencers on Cooksta. Electron got back into level head recently. Are people still making... Oh, the single player campaign. So I guess I'll have to play that first and then I'll play Electron's levels. The last time Ruben heard from her was on Discord and he's he is sure about that. Oh, so like directly. Gotcha. We have new recipes. Boiled yellow back. I can't read French. Boost the air. Boost the A. Salt grilled red tooth triggerfish. Auger Tokoro 10. Oh, this is cool. This is um just like noodles made out of auger. So they have basically zero calories. They're really not food. They're just like a vehicle for sauce. It's quite a long campaign, though. Like, how many hours are we talking about here? More than 20? We now have an extra menu slot. Oh, yeah! And more wasabi, and we can add more to our interior. Ruben got a... 5.7 on German, which is passing, so good enough. There we go. Good enough is good enough. Did I encounter Sharky again? Um, She bought me this game. <laughs> I think that's the last I talked to her. It's kind of terrible of me. He doesn't teach you some about the more advanced tech, like box jumps, coyote jumps, boost throwing. Well, that's just like Mario Maker. They don't teach you anything about that game and its campaign. And they give you the rock thing and the toad finding thing that you can't use in the actual um, Mario Maker levels. Maybe we should look at our cooksta. Oh, that's pretty. I heard this fish is poisonous, but it tastes good, actually. We received an award. Please come visit. When was the... That then, I'm curious. What, when Sharky bought me this game? It was like, right before Christmas. It's good, but I can't get over the way it looks. It's a bit less gross on camera, so here it goes. The soy sauce and wasabi are awesome. We'll come again. 
Soy sauce wasabi is awesome. I like the soy sauce wasabi um, almonds. That's some good food. We've already got this. Call? Well, I don't want to call any of these people. I'm going to be antisocial and just die. Oh, right. Cards. We have a lot of cards. Clownfish. It's about 15 centimeters long. It lives among the sea and enemies and coral reefs or rocks, finding shelter then when threatened during the night. Females of the species are larger than males. Also, males become females, which is kind of weird. Electron has 310 hours of level head, still hasn't beaten it. Then again, most of that was spent building levels. So I guess I need to play a little bit of the campaign, not really aim to beat it, and then just play some uh, viewer levels. Lagoon Triggerfish. The colorful mosaic patterns formed by its scales has earned it the nickname Picasso Fish. It has a pointed snout and three to five large scales behind its gills. Might as well read Blue Tang since we've murdered so many of them. Lives in groups in coral reefs and is used to clear waters and strong currents. Many fish owners covet the blue tang as it's one of the most popular aquarium fish. We can adjust the music? Nah, I don't feel like playing with that. Okay, time to dive. Time to actually play the game. Ruben misses Sharky and in a little because both didn't play Splatoon, so he had someone to talk to when I was not looking. Sharky plays Splatoon, just not with me very often. She was like Venom in that she played it too much and got kind of sick of it. I want to catch that pink fish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dolphin. Never mind. We're helping you. Dolphin friends, what's up? Let me see if I can count how many levels there are. Or it just tells. There are 93. 93 levels in the campaign? Huh? You must be the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. I should follow. Yeah, you, you were... I may have been technically correct, but... Raven was correct in where it matters that he had people to talk to outside of just me. Okay, well, this will be easy. She is just a little damsel in distress. And, yeah, if I hadn't gotten her, she'd drown. Pirates must have captured, Ill captured it illegally. I should quickly cut its net. We're gonna get in trouble with the other humans. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I almost died, but we saved the Dolphin Princess. Hey, Super Hoodie. I don't know you. Probably, but... Hi. Welcome to my stream. I'm Juicebox. I normally play Splatoon, but we're playing uh, Dave the Diver today. Random raid. I don't speak Dolphin. How many times do I need to tell you? Whatever, they seem happy. Passing on the love that someone did to me earlier, because you were playing Dave yourself. Oh, hey. Speaking of passing on the love, the dolphins left me a gift. I hope neither of them get caught again. They're gonna get caught again. This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> Large gold bar, where... Did she get... Did she get captured by the pirates because she's stealing their gold? Might have been a thing. I don't know. Uh, okay.
Okay, so we are almost out of oxygen, but let's see if we can kill a couple fish. No! Yeah, come back here. Be as dumb as people think fish are. I was about to say, it should start warning me about running out of air now. You thought the box was like a last artist name? More like Juice Box is like the full name, but everyone calls me Juice because it's less syllables and syllables are bad. No one likes syllables. Thanks for the s follow? Yeah, follow. Super Hoodie. Um, I usually stream around this time. Uh, I'm trying to stream more again, at least for now. I pretty much just stream during the week and on Saturdays sometimes if there's something going on in Splatoon. And I think that's about all there is to know about me and my stream. Guess we're gonna just dive back in. White tip, reef shark. Slim, medium-sized shark. They get bigger than that? Oh, man. Yup, oh, blue tang. Gotta catch y'all. Y'all are our, like, best dish. I'm, I'm only gonna hurt you until I can catch you. It'll be over soon, just trust me. There you go. Shark Harpoon. No, oh, Shock Harpoon, oops. It's slower. I'll take it. Maybe we can catch something good with it. Hoodie's gonna lurk, because he streamed for nearly 10 hours today. Yeah, you'll never see me do that. I go for like an hour or two. Very rarely I'll go for like three. The game's got to be really good for me to stream for a long time. What's in the box? Ammo. Well, we don't have a gun yet, so that's not going to help. Gotcha. Oh, hey, clown. Not clownfish. Hey, D. Just stab him. Just stab them. Whatever. How about you, Mr. Triggerfish? Just gonna stab it. There we go. And we're overweight. Did I? Are you saying that I forgot you're mostly here, Ruben? How could I forget you're here? Um, we're gonna go down a little deeper just to see if we can find a uh, mermaid people treasure. You would think the extra oxygen would make us weigh down a little bit less. You know, because it's, it's oxygen. It's more air in our air tank. All right. Well, remember that there's a emergency exit up to my left. Left. Long distance underwater scooter. How do I use that? Oh, 
Oh, shift. There we go. Raymond's here so much. He's part of the Blue Crab Juice Box experience. Very much so, yes. Absolutely. Oh, what's this? Fragment. Hey, hey, I think we found the thing. I think we found the sea people. Sea people artifact. Mr. Bacon, are you... I'm sorry, Doctor. Doctor Bacon. Are you spying on me? Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. And then something bad happens. What? Whoa. <laughs> okay, giant squid. Uh, we need to get out of here. We need to use that scooter now. I mean, I wish I could catch those squids, but we gotta go. What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. There we go. Use up our scooter, but we're out. Oxygen is less dense than water, so losing it would make you heavier. Yeah, exactly. You would think that if I refill my oxygen tank, I would be more buoyant. And if I'm more buoyant, I can carry more stuff underwater. On the other hand, it doesn't change the mass. And so it'd be like pushing a bigger rock. It doesn't matter if the big rock, you know... It doesn't matter if I am l l lower weight if I'm trying to push a big rock. I don't, I don't want to think about the physics right now. <laughs> Let's not worry about the physics. Let's just worry about the uh, Wojak here. I mean, Dr. Bacon. All right, you brought it out safely. It seems to be in very good condition. Almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Hmm, very interesting. This may be the find of the century, even. Everyone thinks that, Dr. Bacon, about their own discoveries. Unless you're researching, like, bird spit or something. All right, Dave. Let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the sea people civilization. Hey, Vopker. Um. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. He does look a little incredulous. <laughs> Whoa, of course, say no more. Just put our restaurant to the top of the list of affiliates. Dude, no one reads anything except for, like, the title of a scientific paper and maybe the abstract. No one's going to look in the discussion at the end to say who supported their research. Meown. It won't be hard to do. Oh, that will be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. Bye, Dr. Bacon. It would kind of help because you have to carry less of the weight of your oxygen tank. Yeah, if nothing else, the oxygen tank would be pulling me up more. Sort of. Scuba divers have to wear, like, weights, right? But I also think they do use their... Something about their, um, oxygen tank to, like... Like, you bleed air into your suit to make you more buoyant. Did that professor just give us some olive oil out of his cupboard? Whatever, 300 gold, 300 gold. We got a trigger fish by shooting it. Oh, we stabbed it, actually, to finish it off. New ingredient, kelp. Hmm. Wrap up your day and sell some sushi. We also have to, um... Well, there's an applicant for the Bonjo Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-ski. I always thought look-see was like look and see, like look at. I've never seen it spelled this way, look-see. Like a cute version of look, whatever. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. Staff. Click the ads. 
Oh, check hiring notices. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. She has these numbers that I don't really know what they mean. Hire. We hereby hire the above staff on October 5th. She costs nothing. Um, I'm not sure that's legal, but if she's down. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly. Add them to your dining area to serve food more quickly. For our first staff, let's try a dining area assignment for now. Yeah, her cooking seems to be her low point, but serving is her highest number, so that's probably good. I think that should be enough to go on for now. I'm stating the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider, besides hiring. That's all for now. Well, she didn't look like she was going to stay here for very long. She was like, I want to make money and then go traveling. So let's not worry about training her too much. Uh, menu. Actually, let's look at ingredients. So we've got a lot of olive oil. Whatever, we still have a bunch of blue tang, so we're going to use those. Can we do something with our interior? Normal wood, oriental modern, light wood, brick. Let's just stick with our normal wood for now. Slavery in the finest. Well, at least I didn't catch her in a not Pokeball, unlike a certain other game. Research. Oh yeah, we can research menu items. What do we need for Tokoro Ten? I mean, it's the most costly thing, but it also doesn't seem to make people happy. Because yeah, it's it's just agar and soy sauce. It basically the sauce, the soy sauce is the only calories in it. Whatever. Let's research it. Maybe someone will want it. Oh, he's got that, uh... Boncho's using that Beancho. That's fancy charcoal. Uh, let's just... Call it a day at that and get our menus sorted out. So as always, we got the blue tang. It's our best menu item. What else we got a lot of? Porgies, trigger fish. Well, this is already level two. Let's go ahead and serve that. And then we'll add some, uh... Let's go ahead and get the trigger fish enhanced. So it costs three of our trigger fish. We'll only end up with one sushi at the end, but... one of those on the menu. What else can we enhance? Butterfly fish. Let's go ahead and enhance that. Takes half of them. Only earns one more. But it makes people twice as happy. And then last... Thing we'll throw out there. We've got 
just throw the porgies out. There you go. Porgies. All of them. Here we go. At Ruben's school, we did some things, but I only... I'm only going to talk about the second one. VR... Is that VR painting? It's either VR painting or VR printing. Depending on which letter is missing. VR painting seems fun, though. Okay, first nerd. I'll take care of the tea. Because I'm perfect at it. Oh, she already got it. Cool, cool, cool. So he's all the way over here. Poor Dave. We got this. It's like graffiti painting. Oh, whoops, didn't clean up the bowl. My bad. Close for the day. We made a lot more money. Sick. Like street art graffiti, spray painting and stuff? Yeah, kids need more space to like spray paint, but not on public buildings. Oh god. There was this arcade that I used to go to, and the owner was not the most um, aware of how the world actually works, and he literally hired a guy to paint a mural on the next building over. Like, it wasn't a, a building he owned, it was someone else's wall that he hired a guy to paint this big old mural on. And it lasted like a week before they had to cover it with white paint. Because the owner, the actual owner of the wall was like, No! What's wrong with you? This is my wall. But yeah. In any case, people need more room to paint big murals. And VR can very much facilitate that. Like all teens with the power to deface property VR, Ruben painted a wall sky blue. That's called a non-sequitur. Hey, Dr. Bacon. Hey, Dave. I've got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of an unknown substance was detected. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. What kind of wavelength? What, what, what part of the spectrum we talk about here, buddy? Oh, cool. He added a radar to track those waves. Uh, and why is that news lucky? Haha, oh. -ha, being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful in your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Popker, paint the wall. I didn't pay for it all. Hmm, I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20... What? What in the world are you two talking about? Haha! <laughs> Don't be so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Ugh, give it to me. I'll tell you if it works. And no more.
I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshie? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app, which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of a restaurant without visiting it. That sounds handy. This sounds like a lot of work. Ruben didn't like the state of the wall and it was kind of run down, so he painted it to look better. It'll also make it so that birds can poop on it and won't rust. The wall, I mean. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. I just want to dive and shoot fish. I don't want to manage this restaurant. You can check Bancho Sushi Bar information. Use the management app. Check it on your phone. Uh, management. So we're bronze on Cookstar. We've got money. People like our blue tang sushi because it's what we serve the most. And our only employee is Kyoko. Oh, we got more Cooksta posts. Hang the Yoshi. To think sushi made from tropical fish would be so good. It's amazing. The sushi here is nice. I don't like the strange guy serving it, though. Okay. Okay, enough, enough phone. Phone's bad for my mental health. Let's go dive. We used to paint it half the wind smiles in the olden times. Oh, windmills in the olden times, so it would be rain protected. Yeah, paint serves actual decent purposes, not just looking nice. Butterfly fish. We can catch a couple more of those right now. The one that ran away, he, he's lively. That means he'll make good sushi. Probably. Okay, my radar says we're supposed to be going this way. But what's this? Ammo. We don't need ammo. Probably need rope. Probably need to upgrade my equipment more. Ooh, that's a pretty fish. You're wounded now. Sorry, this is just... It's for your own good. Long fin batfish. No, 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 batfish. Gun. You look tasty. Come here. Why don't I just shoot them? Tab button. I'm wasting a lot of oxygen just trying to shoot this fish. Oh, help! There, there's some oxygen right there! Better shoot the rest of these fish. Regular, like, fishing, shooting, whiz. Ruben's gonna go, but he'll be back. Nice. I will probably be here for at least, like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Maybe a bit more than that. Gun upgrade. Harpoon upgrade. Captures creature the highest grade. That's nice. What's this? 
Gun fragments. Probably need to catch more fish. I need to catch you. Even though they're very heavy. Hey, we can get more of these fish. That'd be good. Assuming they don't all swim away from me forever. Oh, we got some thorns from the thornfish. And now I can't move. But we can get this emergency exit. And we can get out of here. Boop, boop. Beep, boop. I didn't catch any blue tang, though. Titan Triggerfish. Is that new? Let's check on her phone. So Cooksta, I'm not going to look at that. New. Mediterranean Parrotfish found in warm waters and near rocky coral reefs, where they usually eat algae and coral, but sometimes also eat small invertebrates. Coral is a small invertebrate. What are you talking about? Marine ka? The females are red with yellow stripes. Titan triggerfish. A huge triggerfish measured at around 75 centimeters with a yellow body, dark spots around its eyes, and sharp teeth. Look at them. It is found in coral reefs and steep surfaces of submerged rocks and feeds on... There shouldn't be a comma here. And feeds on coral, sea urchins, and so on. Alright, another dive. Are we gonna just... Well, let's try to find some blue tang real quick, because, you know, there they are! Haha! -ha. Stars of my menu. And I missed. Not this time. Sorry, you guys are just too easy to catch. As I miss again. And that should be enough for tonight. Squeaky hammer. It doesn't do much damage, but will sometimes put fish to sleep. No. Why is this rock shaking? What do we got here? Harpoon tip. Just stronger harpoon tip. You look like food. We've caught them before. Maybe grab some kelp. Ooh, is that a pufferfish? Can we even eat you? Whoa! He's a, he's a feisty little guy. Bullets don't hurt him when he's popped up. We can shoot him when he's not popped. This fish has taken three bullets to the... F oh, never mind. Just two bullets to the face.
And that emergency exit seems helpful. Oh yeah, there was some like thing on the radar we're supposed to be looking for. Shock harpoon. Eh. I kind of like the shock harpoon. It slows down the parrotfish. Oh, that's two dangerous fish. We don't want to get too close to them. It's a barracuda. Small net gun. Capture seven fish at the same time. I don't think we need that. Oh, right, we're almost out of oxygen. Let's just get going. Okay, while they're slowed down from the stun, we should be able to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am literally running from a fish that's not even a tenth of my size. All right, we're out. We're safe. Let's go serve sushi. When you pick a new weapon, the previous one will be dropped to the ground. Yep. A puffer fish is our biggest fish today. Okay. Let's go serve some sushi. What's in this box? Oh, it shows me my stuff. I guess I can change my equipment to load out. You should try selling it. Maybe. My package hasn't arrived, and it's been a while. I wonder what's wrong. Recently picked it up from the floating remnants of a wrecked boat. There must have been some kind of incident. A sudden accident in this isolated blue hole. I think I saw a huge squid a while ago. It's not because of that, is it? A giant squid? Just about anything can happen here. Always stay on your toes. Okay, maybe tomorrow we'll find whatever the radar is looking at. So can we hire more staff? Ah, see, it's not free anymore. Yeah, we can afford that. All right, so menu for today, obviously. That's not it. There we go. Blue Tang. Wait, we can upgrade the Blue Tang again? I thought it was done. Oh, that takes a lot of fish. Well, we caught a lot of fish. So there's not going to be a lot of Blue Tang on the menu tonight. We'll catch more tomorrow. It's like special extra better blue tang today. Uh, what's it gonna take to upgrade this guy half? May as well. Red throated triggerfish. We had to shoot these guys to catch them. Just hopefully no one notices the bullets. He can just cut around the bullet holes in the meat, right? Uh, butterfly fish. How much are you gonna cost to... May as well. There, we've got like... 
12, 15, 17 servings of sushi. That should be enough. We're not that busy yet. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Here we go. Perfect. People get really, like, impatient for tea in this restaurant. Let's grate up some wasabi. No! Let the lady take care of it. We might need to hire more... More cooking staff. Okay. That seems like we're good for the night. I didn't notice anyone get mad and leave. Hey, hey, are you ranked up on Cooksta? Increase your rating. Check the Cooksta app. Okay. Okay, this first dive, we're not gonna pick any fights. Okay, what what do you want, Ellie? Hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? Hey, Vopker. <laughs> Bullet holes are part of the specialty. That's how you know that this is very fresh fish that we caught ourselves. We don't hide the bullet holes. Or, actually, we do, because we can just call them parasites. No! Let's not call bullet holes parasites. I don't know how we're going to market the bullet holes. We're going to have to make that, um, we're going to have to have a meeting about that. Get a little brainstorm sesh going. Um, I'm doing some investigation for an important paper. I'm going to need some help. Get me three blue shells and three brown shells. What's a brown shell do? Okay, but aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So don't let it get to your head. Hurry along. I don't have much time until the deadline. Mm -hmm. You really are impossible. Mm -hmm. But since you say it's for a paper, what is... Was it blue shells and brown shells? Do I want to help her? Dr. Bacon uploaded a new post. Whoops. Forgot to upgrade us on Cooksta as well. Okay, we're going to kill these fish real quick. Because we need them. For sushi purposes. And then we're going to find the thing. Okay? Yeah. Gotcha. Brown shell. Well, there's one of the shells we needed. Maybe we'll run across the other ones on our way. Shock bang stick. That sounds good. Brown shell. Blue shell. What's in here? Gun enhancement kit. Well, there's another blue shell. Can we get it? I said we were gonna try to get 
where we're supposed to go. So we got brown seashells. We just need more blue shells. One more blue shell and we're done. We're gonna ignore that kit. Actually, we're gonna kill these fish. There's an oxygen tank right there. Good enough. Now let's find the thing. Let's follow that signal. Let's hope you don't get too deep. So we don't have to fight anything. I passed up on those blue. Oh, okay, shark. Let's give him a wide berth. Shark, parrot, fish. There's oxygen right there. So if we get in trouble, we can go back up. Ruben is back. Nice. Every time you say blue shell, I get Mario Kart. Same. Can we cook those sea those starfish? Are they food? Squids. Leave me alone, Barracuda. Whoa! So this is the place. Let's see. Hmm. The signal is coming from inside. There are letters I've never seen before written on the pillar. Hmm, if we had a tool of some sort, we could move aside that pile of rocks and try going inside. I think it would be best to talk this over with Cobra. Come on up for now. Uh, we can hear voices. This is, um, I forget what the syndrome's called, but, like, if you get too much nitrogen in your blood because of deep dives, it can cause hallucinations and sort of, like, drunk-like symptoms. Yeah, I think that Dave has dived, Dave has dove too deep. If you time it right, you can dodge a blue shell with a mushroom. Yeah, I think so. I saw something about, like, it has to do with... What Invincibility. Mario Kart Wii PTSD. <laughs> I think I saw a video about how dodging the blue shells with mushrooms has more to do with you get invincibility frames when the mushroom starts. Because you can actually get bigger speed boosts sometimes from, like, boost panels, but they won't actually save you from the shell. Anyway, Dave is hallucinating. We need to get him out. Or we can kill this Barracuda. Okay, never mind, we're gonna die. We drowned. When being rescued, you'll only be able to retrieve one item. Well, I guess we're taking the blue tangs. Or the silver bowl is worth money. Now let's take the tangs. You gotta watch your oxygen, Dave. I mean, it was more that I was stupid and picked a fight with a fish. Now we gotta do all that over again with the blue shells and the round shells. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Well, at least not cave diving. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get up quickly. You can rescue. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. Okay, Dr. Bacon, sure. What? Hmm, I found a place with a signal from the Sea People civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. 
I'm at an important symposium right now. Please talk it over with Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Huh? How to get rid of rock piles? You'll have to use a bomb, of course. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Bombs. Never fight fish. Crab. I am stronger. Hey, we haven't fought a crab yet. We don't know how strong the crabs are in this pool. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? <laughs> Weren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. <laughs> He's trying to gloss things over again. But there's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. <laughs> Cobra clearly has a shady past, knowing bomb experts, gun experts. Boncho. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? Why would there be drone materials in the sea, Cobra? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge! Delivery boxes are likely to have been carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. Hmm, that sounds dangerous, says the man who picked a fight with a fish and lost. Can't you just use a crowbar? It's kind of hard to get leverage underwater. Yeah, okay, we, we screwed up that time, but... Maybe time to upgrade my equipment? Maybe. I forgot how to do that. Close. To do. Assist Ellie again. Oops. Tips, settings, aquarium, management. Yeah, I can't remember how to order better equipment. Do I do it here? Boat skin. We'll leave it. How convenient would it be to just stumble upon a perfectly preserved and undamaged drone part in a singular spot in the ocean? Well, this is a magical ocean hole, so... Anything's possible. We could find a drone, we could find a dragon, who knows? Okay, gotta kill you guys again. Sorry. Not actually sorry. go. Ah, one of the shells we needed. Right here. There's another one down there next to that food. So this trip should be about collecting shells and fish. What's in the box? Turmeric. Not sure I want to use underwater term turmeric. Oh, that was just the moray eel. I thought I saw a uh, tentacle for a second. Ah. Sorry, you guys can you need to die for the sushi for the good of sushi. I swear I'll make you delicious. It's gonna be worth it. What is this? A fragment. We need to find more seashells. So that we can help Ellie with her science.
Oh, I don't have any ammo, so can't refill it. Let's see. New gun. It's a shark harpoon. Shock harpoon. I keep reading it a shark. Got him. Okay, we got our blue shells. Now we just need to find some brown shells. Not gonna bother with you, puffer fish. Now we're way down, but uh, you still probably get our shells, especially if we use our portable oxygen tank. Amazing. Technology isn't great. Sun reflecting on the water, fill me with determination. Oh, we've been chilled by a lake today. I don't have any real lakes to chill around where I live, but I do like to chill on the side of the river. This time of year, though, because it's cold, if I sit too long by the river, I'll end up with, like, lizards and things crawling into my clothes. Any shells? Come on, we just need, like, what, one more? We are officially a blue tang sushi restaurant. Everything else on the menu is just, like side item. Come on, game. Spawn me one more shell. Oh, wait, never mind. I got all my shells. So all we really need is to find some place with ocean currents. In other words, we're good for now. Let's just catch some fish stay near the surface. Oh, I think I killed the fish. I can't carry any more stuff. That's what's going on here. So... Unfortunately, with a mostly full oxygen tank, we gotta go back. How was UT yellow? Oh, Undertale yellow. There's no Undertale? Hmm? Already? Ooh, it was harder than I expected. Drowned once. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if I just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta da! Haha! -ha, research level gained. Huh? Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know. Eco Washer is a mission-based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app, and you get rewards for reaching certain levels. Yeah. So, this was for points on an app, not for a paper? Oh, uh, well, you could say they're basically the same thing. You try it out too, if you're interested. See you. So, Undertale Yellow is good, has corridors. Whatever, has gameplay. It's apparently a really well made fan game someone made. Oh, is that the thing that we had that drama a couple weeks ago where, like, some community manager for Undertale was real angry that people were using music in their game, and then Toby Fox had to be like, 
Uh, yeah, they're allowed to use that music, dude. Stop being a jerk on social media. The song, Undertale Yellow, still fills me with happiness. Maybe I should just listen to the music. Alright, let's go cook some fish. And then I'll call it a day at that. So we got two new people. Well, Carolina has the better cooking skills. Now we actually we need another cook. I need to figure out how to upgrade my equipment. Ingredients you use to enhance the taste of sushi. Let's take care of some things real quick. So we got Eco Watch. Looks like uh, the National Oceanic. I forget. Noah. It looks like Noah's um, emblem. They might get in trouble for this. So if we just like pick up starfish or marine plants, fossils. Kill jellyfish. Hey, we get more points for killing lionfish now. Nice. Well, that's good to know. We can upgrade ourselves on Cookstar, right? Rank up. Yeah. Oh no. This guy looks serious. He looks like big big businessman. Big Cooksta businessman here. Never mind. I made a big deal out of nothing. It makes Ruben feel like how people who played Undertale feel when they hear Undertale. Why are we talking about Noah? I don't remember talking about Noah. Oh, Noah! Like, oh yeah, the, it's N-O-A-A. -A. I forget what the A-A. -A. I think it's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association? But they take care of, like, weather and ocean currents and tides and all kinds of other stuff. They do- they're like one of the research organizations that the U.S. government runs. Anyway. We've upgraded on Cooksta. Let's get our new cooking lady. Higher. That looks even cheaper. So, Carolina, get on in here. She costs half her money. But now we can cook faster. We don't need to do that. Um, okay. So, she is in the kitchen. Let's get our menu ready, as always. Blue Tang, we can enhance it further. We can make it go further beyond. Taking a live fish and smelling it? Well, imagine if the live smish, if the live fish smell bad, the not live fish must be even worse. Okay, there's our blue tank sushi, as always. Um, we got a good number of parrot fish. Eh, it takes more than half of our stock. Let's just go with what we got. Could probably upgrade the titan trigger fish. Let's just do it. There'll be only one on the menu today. If someone gets it, they're in for a treat. Lagoon trigger fish. Just 
make sure we got enough food for everyone tonight. We can upgrade later. We're gonna be killing a lot of these lionfish later, but enhancing it'll cost all of them, so we're just... Put them out is sort of okay. See, we got the most available of our most tasty sushi. And it's a good deal, so... Like, whoever's buying the Titan Triggerfish tonight, they're getting ripped off. Uh, but... Here we go. What if the fish smelled back? Mmm, fish nose. I don't think I've seen you before. Why they have to order tea on opposite sides of the restaurants? Okay, I'm definitely the tea guy now. I don't know who ordered first. We need a ticketing system. Okay, we got this. We're not gonna make anyone mad tonight. I think we got everyone. That tea is a good deal. You would also buy tea for a dollar. Tea should be free. Oh, wow, we made a lot of money today. I've also spent a lot of money on, uh... Like, that expense there does not count us hiring, um... What's her name? Carolina? Whatever. Alright, but I'm gonna call it a day there. Ruben would just go there for the tea. Well, I am perfect at serving it. I've gotten, like, not perfect maybe once since I started playing this game. I would upgrade my equipment if I could remember how. Well, I should probably look up how to, um, upgrade my equipment. Hey, get me a liter of free tea. A liter of free, a liter of tea, maybe a dollar. Maybe it's worth a dollar. How big is an Arizona iced tea? Those things are... Not tea, but they're good, and they're only 99 cents, and they've been 99 cents since the 90s, and I love it. The app. I don't see an app for upgrading my... Eye diver? Oh, there we go. There's our upgrader. Um, well, this is cheaper, so let's get that. But if we could carry more stuff... Carry more stuff. I want to be able to carry more stuff. Okay, well, we found it. We found the app. Thanks, Ruben. I just needed that nudge. But I am going to call it a day at that. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'll be back tomorrow playing Splatoon. Bye for now. Sorry, the sound goes out when I uh, minimize the window. Here we go. I'll get the music going again. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.